Hey guys, what's going on? Time for another YouTube video. This week we're going to talk about something I've had a lot of requests for since the reintroduction of the new Vanford. So everybody loves to have comparison videos. So this time we're going to do a comparison video between the new Stratic FM and the Vanford FA and let you guys know what's going to work best in what situation. But before I do that, do me a favor, click subscribe down below and there's a get notification bell. Let's work on getting our videos into your feeds as best we can. So let's talk about the differences. The emails I get or the questions I get all the time are, what are the differences between Stratic and Vanford and when should I be using what? Well, let's go through the tech and we're gonna dispel all that first and then I'll tell you the application where each will work best for you. When it comes to the tech, the reels are twins. Really internally, those reels, both Stratic FM and Vanford A, are twins. They both got the new Infinity Cross gear, and that's that new tooth design on the Micro Module 2. It's still in Hagane gear, it's still a cold forged aluminum drive gear, but it's the newest tooth pattern that really disperses the load evenly over the entire tooth, giving you more smoothness and more transmission of power, more longevity in that gear. So this came right down from Stella FK when it was introduced. Uh, the other thing it got was the Duracross drag washers from Stella. It also got Infinity Drive. Now, Infinity Drive is really unique where they're taking the actual spool shaft that pushes the spool up and down. And rather than being supported by the pinion gear, it runs through it. That gives you more winding torque under load, uh, more smoothness when cranking, just a really great system. This has been adopted from Stella SW was the first place we saw Infinity Drive, and it's now becoming more and more pervasive through the lineup. Uh, the other thing is the anti-twist fin. So all these things were descendant from Stella when it won Best of Show a couple years ago. Now we're talking about the differences between the two, and that lies solely in the material of the frame and the material of the rotor. On top of that, they still have Shimano's technologies that you've come to trust, like propulsion line management, X-Ship, uh, X-Protect, all these features that were in all of these reels before, and the new upgrades obviously were those new Infinity, Infinity Cross, Duracross Drag, uh, and all that, but no Infinity Loop on either of them. So the fact is, technically, they're twins. The major difference between the two of them comes in the material of the bodies. Stratic FM has Shimano's aluminum Hagane body, so it's got that aluminum frame. It's got their regular rotor as well. When you talk about Vanford FA, it's got the CI4 Plus body. That's that carbon interfusion body, and it's got the MGL rotor. So what's the difference between the two? The way I separate the two reels, or if I'm looking for something that is, I call this finesse power. When I want finesse power, I'm gonna go towards the Vanford. It is a lighter weight reel. It is lighter than the Stratic FM size for size. It's got lower startup inertia because of the MGL rotor. That CI4 Plus rotor has lower mass, therefore lower startup inertia, but also faster stopping. When this reel is going to apply most is in finesse techniques or in forward-facing sonar techniques. So a lot of times when you're looking to do that quick start, quick stop, because of the lighter rotor, when you spin this handle, it's gonna start faster, but it's also gonna stop faster because it has less mass. Where Stratic FM, because the rotor is a little heavier, is gonna keep spinning a little bit longer. Both reels have their time and place. If I'm throwing a lot of braid to heavier fluorocarbon, like 10, 12, 14, 16 pound fluorocarbon, I'm aiming at the Stratic FM. I want that aluminum body. I want that Hagane body because that offers rigidity. But when I want that fast start, fast stop, or finesse technique situation, I'm going to lean on Vanford. Now, when it comes to the spec on the reels, both are the same in terms of drag. Both are the same, basically, in terms of sizes, with one exception now. Uh, Stratic has a 1,000 size, then a 2,500, a C3,000, a 4,000, and a C5,000 size. Vanford is available in a 500 size. They've gotten rid of the 1000 size and gone to the C2000. So it's basically the same size body as the 1000, but it's got a deeper cut spool or a slightly larger spool that's gonna hold more line. It's also got the 2500, 3000, 4000, and C5000. When we talk drag pressures, uh, six pounds on the 500, I believe, on the Vanford, but seven pounds on either the 1000 or 2000, whether you're talking Stratic or Vanford, 
Both of the 2500s and 3000s in both Stratic and Vanford kick out 20 pounds of stopping power, and the, uh, the 4000 and the 5000 kick out 24 pounds of stopping power. All of them are now using the Duracross drag. That Duracross drag washer is basically woven carbon fiber. And what it does is it acts like felt, which is super smooth, but has the durability across carbon. That was something that was always a sticking point with a lot of the reels. I always suggested to people, if you were finesse fishing light line, go with a 2500 or under because it had felt drag washers. Well, that's no longer an issue now. Now you've got reels that both have Duracross drag washers. So you've got that smoothness that you come to expect from felt, but you got that durability in case you get into hard running fish, like, you know, bigger species in freshwater or redfish or inland species like snook. Both are gonna handle them incredibly well. When it comes to the weight, obviously, like I mentioned, the CI4 plus body, the MGL rotor are the determining factors. So, when you ask yourself, is the 30, 40, or 50 bucks, whatever the difference is between the two reels worth it, you have to ask yourself, Am I looking for a lighter reel? Am I looking for a reel with faster startup, faster stop? Then I would say you go towards Vanford. But also there's a significant difference in the looks of the two reels. You know, obviously Vanford has that blacked out chrome look with a little bit of red highlights. And Stratic has that traditional silvery gray look with a little bit of blue highlights. Both are incredible parts of what I do on the water. And for you, like I say, if you're fishing heavier techniques, more aggressive techniques, go towards Stratic. But if you're fishing finesse techniques, start and stop techniques, forward facing sonar stuff, then Van forgets the nod. That's the difference guys, internally, there is no difference spec wise, other than weight, there is no difference. That's everything, I hope you guys enjoyed that little review. If you can do me a favor, obviously click subscribe down below and also use the get notification. That will help get our videos into your feed. Uh, if you have any questions about the two, any comments, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. But if you're going out on the market and trying to decide Stratic versus Vanford, first figure out what you want to do with it. And now you have your answer.